Creating a complex illustration seems to be like an impossible task, but if you have in mind the finite process that allows you to know here it begins and here it ends, the thing becomes much more enjoyable and clean. In this video, I'll be showing you 7 steps to create a complex illustration. I will be using Adobe Illustrator, but you can actually follow these steps in any other drawing software that have layer management system. My name is Fernando Nunes, welcome to my channel. If you like content related to art, drawing and illustration, subscribe now, activate the bell and let's get into it. First step, sketch. Sketches come first. I will be using this guy over here. Get some sketch to the bases, keep it in the first layer and decrease its opacity a little bit in order to make it transparent. If you want to watch how I drew this character, check out the card above and enjoy it. Second, line art. This process, I would say, that is the one which most demands your attention. Here is the stage where you have to be patient in each element on the scene. Currently, I'm using a drawing tablet, so my line looks thin and thick because of my pen pressure. But no worries, you can do it with your mouse as well. I created a pack of brushes that simulate this technique in Illustrator. You can use it with or without a tablet, just like I'm showing on my brush panel. The brush is also available on the card. Well, small wrinkles, folds in the clothing, details in the skin, everything that needs to be represented with strokes have to be done here. Remember that the details will not be built alone. You have to be patient. Everything depends on you. And keep in mind that you are not a machine. Sometimes you need to rest and continue afterward. 10, 15, 30 minutes, one day, whatever. You have to respect your time. Step 3. Hard shadows. Here is where you have to apply depth. You have to identify the most extreme region of each element and draw shapes. Look as if they are shadows. At this stage, it's important to fill an average of 20% of hard shadows for each element on the scene. Each element, I mean, we have the head, we have the neck, part of the chest, clothing, arms, hands and fingers. Therefore, we must apply hard shadows on everything. Hard shadows usually have the darkest color from your palette. Step 4. Color base. Here is the step that you have to separate the color base in another layer. I like to work initially with white, because then I will be able to change the color easily. The color base layer needs to be below line art and hard shadows layer. Step 5. Medium shadows. In this step, you have to draw medium shadows in another layer above and respecting the color base shapes. Creating medium shadows makes the feeling of 3D object. I like to work with only one level of medium shadows, but feel free to add more shading layers on your own process. Generally, you have to pick up one color from your palette and decrease its opacity a little bit to mix with the base color below. Sixth step. Here, we will apply some textures using the same shapes of the color base and, of course, in a new layer. In my case, I'm using my handmade texture pack that I created to make our lives easier. Seventh step, repeat the process. That's it, now you must repeat the process for each thing that must be drawn. Honestly, you don't need to separate each sub-element just like we did with the character. These secondary elements can have their individual layers. The idea is to have control over the process. The idea is to show that a complex illustration is a combination of elements and each element have a start and finish point. During the process, I took a break, came back, started thinking, what else can I add to the illustration? And every time, I came with a new thing, doing it calmly and separating by layer. Here, for example, I ended the illustration by adding several other elements such as more branches, a strap for the bowl, more detail melting liquid. I want to bring brightness to the liquid, so I added an outer glow to the blue color and some white reflections on them. Still not satisfied, I added some smokes, invading and interlacing the elements on the scene. And finally, I put a hair in a new layer. Concluding, many times a complex illustration surprises us by its amount of distributed elements that were created from the same process and concept. 
The result was this and that's it. I hope that I have helped you to bring new lights to your mind. And thanks for watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, hit thumbs up and leave a comment. See you in the next video.